Death Phase Sensei has agreed to jump into the ring. You've seen him spar me. You've seen him spar my coach, Vidal Riley. His fans have been waiting and waiting and waiting for the time for him to fight again officially. Well, their prayers have been answered. Yeah, I'm like. For the squad. Ooh, how's it going? Finally, I'm back with another video. Just to update you guys, I recently moved a town over to a new apartment. We had to terminate the lease to our old apartment. We just settled in last week, but as you know, I'm teaching and the summer is kind of hectic because we do summer camps and stuff. Those of you who have been following me for a while know that the summer is kind of hectic for me. And then obviously with my training and all that stuff going on, it's been crazy traveling to LA and preparing for the fight. It's just been absolutely insane. And I just recently got my computer set up. I just put up my other monitor. It's just been work training and then like slowly unboxing everything in my apartment. I can't even find my gorilla pod, the thing that holds up my camera. This is literally my setup. Like this thing that we recently had with this box and then there's the light right there. I actually wanna have this. This phase logo is so sick. At the New York house, when all the guys moved out, they couldn't bring everything. So I went to the New York house and just found all like the cool fan art that I could find and I cannot throw it away. I'm gonna try to find a spot. I think I'm gonna put it up here. And I also have two videos planned that I wanna do. I've been wanting to react to all this KSI and Logan Paul drop. Then there was their face off, JJ's video that he did fight, and then like Logan's video in response. And there's all these things that have been happening. My Usa is gonna be launched soon. It's just it's every, a lot of things going on. I'm working on some stuff for the fight that I wanna be doing some coaching, online coaching, boxing, and striking basics that I wanna do with you guys. There's a lot of good things happening. And obviously my YouTube channel takes a hit. So I saw that another Paul had another video leaked by TMZ on their sparring. And I'm really interested because I haven't seen much of Jake. And as a trained martial artist, the little things count. When you're competing as an amateur, 99% of the time you don't know your opponent and you're not sure how they move and, and just the little tendencies and every little thing matters. So as soon as you go on touch gloves and you start to move, you get a feel for them right away because you're not sure. So there's a tremendous amount of uncertainty and doubt in terms of just like the little things are movement, where they keep their hands and what they're looking for. Just like, you know, their cadence and their rhythm. In fighting, if you can get one little edge, if you can make one little adjustment and it gives you a little bit more confidence and you don't hesitate for that one move or you recognize something and you're able to respond and react to it, it does make a big difference. Or I should say, it can make a big difference. Everything's potential, anything can happen in a fight. The one with Logan wasn't shady or sketchy to me. I just thought that it was overblown. I thought, obviously, the clickbait title that TMZ did and the reaction to him brutalizing his opponent was a bit exaggerated. This one though has some pretty suspect things. When I saw Jake move and stuff, it's exactly what I imagined. The footwork is pretty good. He has a good center of balance and stuff like that. Nothing crazy, but for someone who hasn't been training, someone who's new to boxing. However, there are some things that I want to point out that seemed a little shady to me. So he clearly lands the jab, his second jab to the head, which pops the guy's head back, and then he lands the body shot. So I don't know if the guy was reacting to the body shot. But when you watch the punches land, one lands off his shoulder, and he starts to cover after the body shot, but one lands off his shoulder. One kind of comes around the guard, and the other one hits him on his glove that bounces off his head. But you can, clearly, you can clearly see the guy pushing himself out of the ring. So I don't know if the guy was just nervous and scared, and, and he was a new fighter, and he got it just wanted to get out of the round, but it was very clear that Jake was just landing shots on his guard and you can tell that he pushes himself out of the ring and everyone kind of jumps in. It doesn't seem like the guy was rocked. It looked like he just literally pushed himself out. So to me, this looks kind of shady on the person getting hit. I don't, again, I don't know the person he was sparring. It didn't really seem like Jake um, hurt him at all. He might have, he might have hurt him with a body shot. That's the only thing I could say that I objectively don't know, but he definitely didn't hurt him with the shot to the arm or the one to the head. You can just tell that he wasn't rocked, he didn't go limp, and then he kind of just hangs over the ropes. It seems kind of played up. Um, and then guys run, come running over and they put their hands up there um, as if he was like knocked out or something. Honestly guys, just for your own sake, just search up a boxing match. It could be amateur or anything. And just try to watch when somebody gets hit against the ropes and the impact of number one, the punches, and then number two, the, the person getting hit. You see what their body does um, in terms of going limp or dropping from a body shot. Oh man, that looked one of my rules is when you're watching, you can tell if a shot is real, like in sparring or something like this in training, is that when you see a punch land, you feel it yourself. Like you, maybe it's just me, but you tend to 
wince. Like you, oh, like you can tell, like if you land a body shot or like a head shot, you're not like, oh, I wonder which shot did it or something like that. Like even if you, especially if you see a replay, sometimes it happens so fast. Like if it's a replay, usually like, oh, there's a one or like, like there's a, you get a reaction when someone gets hit. You're not like, oh, I wonder if, like if you're questioning it, and typically the fighter gave in or decided to kneel down or push himself out of the ring or wanted to get out of the fight. You can tell right away. Like when I land a body shot on somebody or I got hit by a body shot, you could tell. I don't know, you guys can make your own assessment, but to me, this is a little sketchy. Um, to me, the person he was boxing obviously pushed himself out of the ring, but I wouldn't put it past these guys to be honest. As you guys know, I've been training really hard. I, I'm in loving the boxing training. I just love training in general, but I like when I get to train for a specific sport because it kind of focused me and I like it to isolate um, on the game and stuff like that. So I'm really enjoying working on the footwork, been on the jump rope, just punching, just working on the game. I'm excited. Oh yeah, and the other video that I have the footage, which I'm actually gonna edit tonight too, is I went to the beach and I hit the punch machine. I've been looking for one and I went to the beach and did it. And let's just say I got the record for the one there. I broke the record twice. I did it without a glove and then with a glove. I just thought of something right now, but I think they should have a punch machine at the fight or somewhere where like all the guys maybe um, in the UK when we get there and do like a little punch machine contest because that would be some sick content. And I like to see uh, who has the hardest punch ever out of everyone on the card. For all of you who think I am biased against Jake in this video, you're, you're right, I am one who helped Deji as well um, on Team KSI, so clearly I'm against Jake in this case. But my opinion on the video is objective. If I saw that he hit somebody, I would just tell you. As you can tell, I don't really care to say whether he did or not. I'm just telling you exactly what I see and I'm giving you my honest feedback. So yes, leave a like for the video. I'm glad I'm back. Thank you guys for sticking around and you'll see some more stuff soon. Oos. So, rock, paper, scissors for whoever Please. goes first. Wait, wait, wait. Rock, rock, paper, paper scissors, scissors, shoot. Shoot. Okay, I'll okay, shoot. Alright, ready? <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. What is that? A tie. Paper? paper? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so that was a scissors, man, or something. <laughs> I don't know what that is. All Here right, we go. Right? Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Let's yeah. go! Okay! Let's go! Alright, you ready? Chips. You ready? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, go. Oh. 